This is New Edge Network's SD-WAN service portal seen from a CSP user perspective. Reports Let's go back in here, the reporting area. There are a bunch of reports available for the user to run. These are all permission controlled as well. It shows you things like aggregate traffic. It shows you things like application usage, as well as SLA adherence. For example, performance. Let's pick a performance report. This one, which is essentially an inventory of performance. We click over here. I want to see all my excellent performing applications, or average performing applications, or low performing applications. Let's pick low performing applications. The way the portal decides what is high, medium, and low is it checks for in SLA or out SLA of any duration. If the amount of time an application spends within SLA is more than 80%, then it is considered to be good performance or high performance. If it is below 15%, then it is low performance. And anything in between is moderate performance. So let's pick low performance. Over the last 24 hours between any branches or any network, are there any poorly performing applications? Let's run the report and see what happens. Oh, we have a lot of applications that were showing bad performance. If you want to see why this was happening, we can pick one of the options. Let's go for the first one. Let's drill in. This is going to tell us it's on the demo network, and it's between the Chicago and Dallas branch. Look at how many SLA violations occurred over the last 24 hours. These are the individual port combinations on which the traffic was running. If we open one of these, it's going to give us details of that application. See how poorly it was performing. It was out of SLA for a large amount of time. And what duration that was happening. There's also an option to look at the graphs. It shows you, for that particular application group, what was the latency, jitter, and packet loss. Basically, the idea is that this report the application group invented a report that led us here to this VLAN. This also can be launched from the application performance widget on the top subscriber dashboard. So the idea is that the user can see at the very top level what applications are performing badly. You come to this level and then pick the poorly performing applications and actually go into the raw measurements. From a report's point of view, that was a performance report. There is also network performance. You can pick source and destination branches. So if you want to look at traffic between Chicago branch, and let's pick any other branch, let's say Ottawa. If there's traffic running in between, you can see traffic details between these two branches. This shows a port-to-port -port combination with measurements of latency, jitter, and packet loss. Then it will give you measurements. It will give you a graphical view as well of latency, jitter, and packet loss for traffic between these port combinations on these branches. There are a bunch of reports available. Top Talkers report, for example. Who are the top users of traffic? You get to narrow down on the network, source branch, as well as the application type. Let's run this report. It will give us options. So I've got this particular user in my Dallas branch as the number one user. This is their outbound traffic, so traffic going out or their download traffic. This is their upload traffic. Then when you go in, it's also going to show you what are the top applications that this user was running. This is a wide net, and as a result, it's telling the user what are the top 10 users. It can go up to 100 users, but if there is a specific user that the portal administrator is interested in chasing or looking after, they can enter the IP address of that user and run the report for that user as well so that option is also available. User Activity This is more of an activity report as to what are the portal-originated events that were recorded by different users. For example, all these bulk operations that were done as part of our forwarding policy have been recorded. So again, the option's available and it also gives you some raw data as well. It gives you specific things that were set by this user. It is quite useful because this report is used for billing purposes as well. There is an API available on top of the portal for extracting this data out, this particular data. So that's the reporting option. Thank you for watching this New Edge Networks demo. For more information on the SD-WAN service portal, visit newedgenetworks.net slash platform slash SD-WAN service portal.